Hello, I'm John Briggs and welcome to the Institute of Directors and the Business Channel. Joining me in conversation today is Steve Ruddle, who is the Energy Spokesperson for ABB. Uh, Steve, tell us a little bit about your role in the company and, and what you're responsible for. Okay, well, my primary role in the, in the organization is to help raise the awareness of energy efficiency amongst our clients and amongst the, uh, the customers in the UK. And in doing so, how important is it? Because ABB is not specifically a, an energy conservation company, is it? I would disagree. Okay. I would disagree. I think that uh, we're very, very active in actually maximizing the energy efficiency of the entire energy value chain right the way from the power station down to the plug. So definitely ABB are involved in energy efficiency in the whole chain. By industry sector though, you're an engineering company, aren't you? We are primarily, historically, an engineering company, but we operate across all industry sectors. Uh, effectively, for example, we operate from utilities, through to steel mills, through to banks, and even fast food chains. So we're present in every sector. And given you have a, you know, a good history in the engineering industry, at what point did you transfer your thinking to become an energy efficient company? Well, many of the products that we actually manufacture are inherently energy efficient. And one example of those products is a variable speed drive. And this product uh, effectively allows you to vary the speed of a process to precisely match the demands of that process. And in doing so, you eliminate all of the waste that is associated with running a motor uh, traditionally at full speed. So, you know, this actual piece of technology here, this uh, variable speed drive, this incredible piece of technology actually allows you to minimize energy wastage in the process. Give me an example of an application, a real industry which that would be applicable to and what it would do for it. Well, I can give you a couple of examples. Uh, one example, let's take not industrial, but I'll come back to industrial. Let's take Coots Bank, the Queen's Bank. In 2002, way before this was fashionable, they invested in variable speed drives on their heating and ventilation system and uh, they saved £70,000 per year. Now that was at the energy price in 2002 and prices have trebled since then. To put that into a carbon reduction, that equates to approximately 90 tonnes of CO2 reduction. Tell me a bit about the philosophy behind it. What is a, the watchword or maybe the motto, if you like, that drives the development of these products? I guess that the, uh, the watchword that drives the development is very much getting more for less. That's the key. And there is a, there is a lot of time which is spent on trying to reduce the energy bill by all organisations. Unfortunately, right now, they do that by shopping around for a cheaper supplier. And I would argue and certainly uh, suggest that far better savings are achieved if you actually use less energy in the first place rather than just trying to buy it cheaper. Well, let's talk about the carbon reduction commitment. How do you think it's going to affect your clients? Well, I think that uh, it's going to affect them on several levels. I mean, firstly, with the introduction in April 2010, I think that many are going to have to reprioritize their activities in order to work on the CRC scheme. I think it's also going to drive much needed investment into energy efficiency technology by those companies that are captured in the CRC scheme. I think ultimately it's going to make them more competitive because it's going to help them save energy and hence save carbon reductions as well. Steve Ruddle, thank you very much indeed for joining us on the Business Channel. Thank you.